Hey guys, Dee here from Dee's Divine Guidance. I apologize for the light over the candles, um, although I kind of do like it because I feel like the spirits are here with us. So um, if you have not visited my channel before, welcome. And if you are back, welcome back. Thank you for subscribing, liking, and sharing my videos. Um, if you do not know me, I'm an intuitive medium Reiki master, and I usually do Reiki in our general reads. Um, today we're not going to do that, but I do have a special Valentine's Day gift for you. I usually give you away something free, um, but I usually make you work for it. But today I'm not going to make you work for it. So all you really have to do is just stick to the end. But even if you are impatient, you can still get it by hitting the link in the description box below. All right, so let's talk about love for Leos. The energy that I was getting, oh, the sun came out. Um, the energy that I was getting prior to coming on camera was be who you are. Don't change yourself for anyone. And it's amazing that the sun just came out because this is your card. Shine, shine like who you are. They're telling me here, like as Leos, I'm a fellow Leo as well, but they're telling me like we tend to get the stereotype of always wanting attention, um, you know, wanting to be the spotlight. And for some of us, it's not the case. It just comes to us. But in respect, it's like, you know, that person who you are, like, because they're making me feel like some of us cower down where it's like we feel good about ourselves, but we don't really show that to other people. Yet we get the attention, we get the praise, but we're really kind of shy. So that son there is saying like, don't change yourself for anyone. Don't, just because they don't like something or expect you to be a different way, don't change yourself for somebody else. And remember, this is a general reading, so take what resonates, leave what doesn't. You can check out your moon and rising signs. Um, and also this is good for singles or couples, right? So take what resonates. All right. So don't, do not change yourself. Can we have more cards please for Leo for love in February of 2018? Also, if you like these readings, you want me to do the bonuses. Um, this is a bonus reading. I usually don't come live in the middle of the month. Um, just leave a comment below and let me know if you want me to do more, if you like them. Wow. That was the message guys. Turn the video off. <laughs> That's all you need to hear. Just don't change yourself. All right, come on, couple more cards, please. Ah, oh, there we go. Mm-hmm. They're like, all right, you want some more? You're gonna get the same thing. King of Cups. King of Cups energy. Live with love in your heart. Show love to others. Be who you are. Like I don't even. It's like the same, the same thing. This is what we want. Ooh, the tower card. What's up with that? All right, tower. All right, now we need another one, please. I'm getting to pull two more. Oh, one just. And this one. Ah, oh, there we go. All right, some of us are going to have to walk away from something with this tower card and with the eight of cups. But instead of thinking about walking away from something, think of it as walking towards something. And for some of us, they feel as though it's with the six of cups here. This is walking towards you. Because of what I'm saying here about not changing yourself for somebody else, I feel like some of you are really going to sit there and they're giving me words like ponder, think about, embrace. And realize how much you are changing yourself for somebody else. Because they're telling me like you're lost. You've, you've, you, the person you used to be is lost. So this is for couples who are with somebody at this point. Like there's going to be a tower moment here. A little shaking up. To realize that you're giving yourself too much you're giving yourself away and not receiving enough back. Or you're changing yourself because you want somebody else to like you, to love you, to be with you. And this could be for singles as well. When you meet somebody, do not change who you are to be accepted by that person. If it's not a fit, it's not a fit. Move on. There's so many people in this world. And, you know, usually we find this person and it's like, oh, they could be the one. And we think about, oh, they could be the one. 
you know, and then we change ourselves to make sure that they are the one, but in reality, they were never the one. So that is what I'm getting here with the eight of cups and the six of cups here. Some of you are going to see that and you're going to realize that what the heck am I doing? You're telling me to pull more tarot cards. What other messages do we have for the sign of Leo? Yeah, the Empress. This is about nurturing yourself, taking care of yourself. Some of you actually, I feel like, are going to get pregnant this month. Or are already pregnant this month. And they're telling me to follow that message with the pregnancy. Do not give yourself away. Even when you have this child, and this is for people with children as well, as a mother or as a father, do not give yourself completely away. Like, where are you? <laughs> there you are. <laughs> Queen of Wands, there you are. You know, so make sure that, yes, you can love others, but not at the extent of losing yourself is what I'm getting here for love for you in February. Okay, they're telling me to move on to the Oracle decks. They're telling me this one first, okay. Alrighty, let's see what it says. Well then. I'm going to take these two right here. Have patience. Love is patient and kind always. They're telling me to be patient with yourself. And to be patient with, with others as well. Like, if you address this, I'm not saying you have to break up with anybody here. But what I am saying is that it needs to be addressed. And you need to walk towards you. And have patience for the other person to respect that. Have, per have patience for the other person to understand that. Because uh, they're telling me, like... Um, you're so used to the dance that you play, you know, they want something, you get it for them, you know, you change something for them. They're saying the word abide, but I don't abide by them. I, I don't know if that makes sense, but abide, but, or obey, which I don't like that word, but these are the words they're giving me here. So, you know, have patience for someone else on the other side to realize that now you're changing the dance. Right? They move back, you move back. They move to the side, you move to the side. Well, now you're stepping back. They might not know that they need to follow. So have patience for that person to respond, to, to think about it, to understand, so that they can then follow you. Okay? Consider your foundation. And it says, You are being asked to look at how committed you are to love. And they're telling me here, like, is your commitment strong enough to find yourself again, to love yourself again, to bring yourself to the surface again, to show who you are, to show your true colors? Because they're also saying to me, without that, you really don't have love. You have a pretend love because you're not being your true self. So if you're committed to finding true love, true love that will fulfill you emotionally, spiritually, physically. If you're committed to finding that, then you need to find yourself. You need to be who you are, truly are, and not hide any part of you. Because what you have is not love if you're hiding who you are. Okay. Uh, so definitely, uh -huh. okay, so definitely some of you are dealing with the children, like we already discussed. You, your love life is being affected by children. So some of you might be in a relationship that you're giving too much here, but because you're pregnant, you're staying. Or because you have children, you're staying. And they're telling me, so make it work. Be truthful. Be true. And again, the energies can go back and forth. So, but... 
you have the opportunity here, opportunity here to make it work, to be honest, to be who you are and let the other person decide. And don't fear that. If someone doesn't want to be with you because of who you are, then screw them. You will find someone that loves you for who you are. And that would be your soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. So for you that are saying, for those of you that are hearing me and being like, they love me for who I am. I am being completely honest. Then yes, that is your soulmate. And for the, those of you that are feeling like I am never my true self because I'm scared that people won't like that or I'm too needy or anything like that, like your soulmate is waiting for you. But they're not going to find you if you're not being true to who you are. That is what I have for you for love for the month of February. Again, if you like this bonus reading, please give me comments below and let me know. Um, and also you have made it through. So therefore I will tell you what your free gift is. So happy Valentine's day. Um, in the membership group a while back, a couple weeks ago, we did a session and spirits talked about breakups and ghosting, which ghosting I didn't realize is such a big thing, which drives me crazy because the lack of respect people have for each other. But I wanted to share that session with you for free. So even though we didn't do Reiki here, you're going to get actually even more Reiki in this session that you will see. So if you would like to see that session, we get a message from spirit and then we go into the Reiki healing. Um, so if you've ever been broken up with or ever been ghosted by somebody, um, even if it was 40 years ago, 30 years ago, last week, whatever, or thinking about breaking up with somebody, um, this session is powerful. I thought it was a good gift for you for Valentine's Day because we are talking about love and a lot of us have been through breakup which then affects going forward. So therefore, I wanted to include this with you. So again, it's in the description link below. You can leave me comments on that video. Let me know what you thought about it. Um, but that is my Valentine's Day gift for you. Um, so happy Valentine's Day. Much love. I really hope you enjoy the day. And also, if you are sitting home and alone, let join me in my party over in the Facebook uh, VIP group so that we could do live readings. It's 8.30 Eastern Standard Time on Valentine's Day night. Um, we're going to have a little party over there and I'm going to be giving love readings. All right. So get your personal love reading over there. Much love to you guys. I hope you enjoyed this and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.